Before I move on to the consent agenda, I'll go back to, uh, I had reserved my time during council comments. Uh, bear with me here for a minute while I get through this. Um, council member Bellows spoke about the article about the Sylvester family. And over the past few days, this family has been in our headlines, <coughs> excuse me, in our local news, on national outlets and in international media. You may have read about the mom of two who was diagnosed with cancer just hours after she lost her, after her husband died of ALS. Tessie Sylvester is my sister. She's my little sister, my best friend, my confidant, my touchstone, my almost everything. For the last six years, Tessie has cared for her husband, John, as he battled ALS. John, a beloved soccer coach, and most importantly, a beloved husband and dad to Gus Six and Freddie Five, passed away on Friday, June 16th, at the age of 44. John's greatest hope was that Tessie and his boys would be cared for and live long, healthy lives. But just days before his death, Tessie learned that she has cancer. It's advanced cholangeal carcinoma a type of adenocarcinoma. It's a type of cancer that forms in mucus secreting glands. After much testing, it remains unclear what the primary source of the cancer is, but it has metastasized to Tessie's liver and lymph nodes. Because of this, surgery is not an option for Tessie. Tessie is most terrified by the thought of leaving her sons without their daddy and without their mommy. She's only 36 years old, and she's going to do everything she can to fight this cancer. She will have chemotherapy to try to keep it at bay and buy her time with her sons. Tessie is self-insured and now a single parent. She will not be able to work during treatment. She needs our help and she needs it now. John and Tessie, as Council Member Bell has alluded to, always gave back. They met in 2001 when they were both coaching summer youth soccer. They were brought together by their love of soccer, their dedication to their families, their strong faith, and their belief in giving back to their community. John spent his adult life helping others. He played for the Minnesota Thunder professional soccer team in the late 1990s. Then he worked in the Minneapolis Public Schools, the Harvest African-Centered Prep School in North Minneapolis, and as a girls coaching director for the Minneapolis United Soccer Club. John was dedicated to helping young people realize their dreams. As a young woman, Tessie worked hard to obtain an academic scholarship to St. Thomas University. There she also played college soccer and was twice awarded All-American Honors, was selected an NCAA Woman of the Year for the state of Minnesota, and has since been inducted into the Hall of Fame at the University of St. Thomas. Tessie later, later completed dental school so that she could provide a much needed service in low-income communities. For many years, she worked as a dentist in a free dental clinic in St. Paul, serving homeless and marginalized people. And for the past few years, she struggled motherhood, caring for John, and working at West St. Paul Family Dentistry. Together, John and Tessie could light up a room with their smiles. Please help Tessie continue to light up the world with her smile, her kindness, and her warmth. Gus and Freddie, John and Tessie's joy and sunshine, and that's what John would always call him, Gus the Joy and Freddie Sunshine. They need their mom. So please share their story. Continue to share it. We have Facebook page, Twitter page, hashtag help for Sylvester's will help us reach an even wider audience. Although conversations with my husband do not typically end with me saying, you know what, you're right. This time it is true. He recently reminded us that Tessie is a Thompson girl and that we all know that Thompson girls are fighters, that there isn't anyone better to have your back in a battle, and Tessie is the strongest among us. She has strength and grace that is unmatched in this world, and Tessie can battle. Tomorrow she will battle back with the start of her chemotherapy treatments, and we will fight like hell. Thank you again for all of your support, for your generosity, your prayers, and for standing with us as we set out for battle. Thank you. Thanks for sticking with me on that. And <laughs> we will um, we'll move on to our 
consent agenda tonight. 